Oh, hang on a second, Tommy. The drill was to get rid of all the old stuff, not to bring it up here. What are you doing? Well, this is an old door. There's a couple of them down in the uh, storage room downstairs. How often does that happen, right? You buy a house, the guy leaves you, you know, a dozen doors, and they sit in the basement forever. All the time I see it in basements. Well, this door's in pretty bad shape. I mean, it's got some holes here. Maybe there was a towel bar. It's got some mortise, but no hardware. It's a shame because you, if the hardware is there, you might be able to sell that online or something. The finish is gone. There's a big gouge out of that bottom corner there. So you think it's not good enough to take to a salvage yard? Uh, I don't think I'm going to get much. By the time I go down there, I'll be lucky to get $5 for it. Huh. All right, so throwing it out? No, I'm not going to throw it out. I want to build something with it. This has got some great wood in this door. It's old. The door's probably 70, 80 years old. And I look inside the mortise here, and it looks like it's probably straight grain fir. Ooh, we like that. I like that wood. It's nice and stable. So if I cut this up, and we'll build a little project out of it. Thinking, what are you going to build? I'm thinking of a shadow box, maybe something like 16 by huh. 20. So like a picture frame, but three-dimensional, so we can actually put stuff in it. Exactly. Put cool. a glass front on it. I like it. All right. All right. So let's cut this up and salvage the wood. Nice. To get started, we're going to break the door down into pieces using a circular saw. Now we want to true up the styles on the table saw. Now I'm going to shave off the stain using my table saw. Each side I'm going to take two passes because the saw blade won't go up high enough. If this was lead paint on the door, I couldn't do it this way. I want to use this one style to make the four sides of the shadow box, but before I cut it to length, I want to make a rabbit cut in the inside corner to hold the back. And a dado cut for the glass. For the back of the shadow box, we'll clean up one of the recessed panels from the door. Okay, now our piece is roughly sanded. And this is going to be the outside or the front edge right here, and you can see where the screw holes were from our hinges. And also, there's a couple of holes on the inside right here that I want to fill. And I'm going to fill those using some wood glue and the sawdust from sanding, along with some filler strips on the bigger holes. Get a good match if you use the sawdust from this and some scrap wood from this too. Absolutely. So the first thing I want to do is I want to put some glue in the holes. Just going to finish this with a little bit of Danish oil, and we're actually going to put it on, wipe it on before we make our cuts, so there's no oil on the face of our miters. Okay, and when we're done with the oiled rags, into a bucket of water, keep them safe. With our finish all dry, we can now cut them to rough length. Then we'll miter each piece to length at 45 degrees. Now that we have our four pieces cut to length, we can cut our back to size. All right, here's the wooden back for our shadow box. All right, and here's the piece of glass that we bought from the home center. They sell it in a couple of different standard sizes, so we're going to have to custom cut it right here. Right. Now, I want the glass to be the exact same size as the back, and if I cut it with a glass cutter, it will be slightly bigger, and that's because the edge 
is offset to the cutter. Right. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it even on the bottom. I mark the glass with a marker over here. Slide it over. Make it even on the bottom here. And put a mark. Okay, so now I'm just going to take my back and turn it sideways because it's longer. And I can do this in one pass, and I want to make sure I do it in one pass. Let's slide it over. And then check it with my cutter so that I'm on the line allowing for the edge. Now, I'm ready to cut, but before I do, I want to dip the tip of it in some oil to lubricate the wheel. And I want to make it in one pass. I don't want to go back and forth. So I'm going to get started, and I'm going to go right across the glass. Okay. Turn the glass so I get just over the edge of the table. I'm going to pick it up slightly and drop it. There's my cut. Beautiful. So satisfying. <laughs> and we'll make a second cut on the glass the same way. Okay, now we're ready to start assembly. We're going to glue it together with this polyurethane glue. And it's actually clear. Now the first thing I want to do is wet the end. Now this glue is actually water activated. So we now put some glue right on the wet edge. All right, now we're going to hold it together with a couple of brads. Go for it. Okay, now we'll do this joint here. And pin this one. Okay, and pin it. Now the next thing we need to do before we put our final side on is slide our glass in. How many people you think are going to forget to do that? Yeah, I don't want to forget it, especially when we're gluing it. I'll get it. All right, I'm just going to wet these joints so I don't soak the glass before you slide it in. And I also want to put a little bit of glue on there. Wet these edges. A little more glue. And we'll lay it on there. Nice. And we'll put it's a strap clamp, so when I tighten it, it should bring all the joints in nice and snug. While our glue sets up, we can install our back panel. We're going to attach it with screws so we can remove it as needed. Not bad, Tom, especially considering it was just an old door a little while ago. That's right. All right, one last thing. We need to sign it. You ready? a nice touch, Tom. Yeah, Look at that. that. Hey, boys. Oh, what do you boy. think of the shadow box? This is a piece of art. Look huh? at it. It's all, all we got a little came lumber. We got a little distracted. Yeah, we a little cleaning up? Yeah, we found the boxes of pictures. Oh, Roger, boy. remember that? I... This was a fun one. You... Let me see. <laughs> you. Roger, remember you? <laughs> this is about how about this one? Oh, oh, me. Look at Tommy's look. Yeah, no, it's not you disgusting. Blame you blame me? <laughs> it's the look of disgust. So we found hundreds of pictures. How many can fit in your little picture box? We can get a few in there. Face down. Face down, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, listen, until next time, I'm Kevin O'Connor. I'm Richard Thierry. I'm Roger Cook. And I'm Tom Silva. For Ask This Old House. Say, uh, you still have that tattoo? Of course I do. What? Oh I'm, my what? God! You, I would never oh. take that. That's <laughs> yes, forever. You right, really Roger? are weird. Forever. You are so weird. <laughs>